Hi folks, I have your latest real estate numbers for week ending July 12th. Before I get started, a little bit of housekeeping. Subscribe below, hit the bell button there so you get notified when these new videos come up. Pass this information on to your friends. Let's get the conversation go, uh, going. I love your comments below. Agree with me or disagree, it's okay. Uh, just don't be rude, I don't deal with that, and just comment below. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna talk about things in a slightly different fashion today. I'm gonna start off with Vaughn, and I'm gonna end off with everything going on in the city of Toronto when it comes to real estate prices. Okay, so the theme of this video is that there's so much uncertainty out there. And, and you can see with all the headlines, they contradict each other. Just from the comments below, you know, there's uncertainty out, uncertainty out there. And we're trying to make sense of everything. Maybe in this video, I might confuse you even more. There's some crazy things going on that are really hard to understand. So if you watched last week's video, or even if you didn't, I'm gonna just summarize a couple things. So this is, for all of the Toronto Real Estate Board and on a monthly basis. And I've told you in last week's report for the month ending June, everything sold under Toronto Real Estate Board, we had an average sold price of $930,000. That is the highest average sold price ever. If we look at Vaughn, all home types, everything sold in Vaughn, and we compare month to month to month, this 1,154,000 is the highest average sold price ever. I don't know why each time I say ever, I, I feel like I gotta say ever, but it's definitive, that's it. End of story, that's the highest average sold price ever. And prices over the last few months, with April being the low point, prices have been increasing and you could be talking to your family and friends you could be hanging around the water cooler if you're back at work but maintain social distancing and you could see wow things are doing really well prices have been going up and up and we're breaking records now that's the highest average sold price ever but then if you're watching this video you're seeing an a, a breakdown on a weekly basis and week ending July 12th and for the last three weeks actually average sold price has been decreasing so this is for Vaughn freehold properties we're seeing a decline in average sold price and this is where it gets confusing and I can understand why people are confused realtors out there many of them are confused as to what's going on. So depending on who you're talking to, depending on what information they have, people are gonna tell you how everything's going up every day and other people are gonna tell you, what are you talking about? Things have been on the decline. And depending on what you're looking at, you could be right. But the most accurate, up-to-date information is right here for week ending, not month by month, but week ending July 12th. And this chart happens to be just for Vaughn freehold properties. We are, when we compare to last year, now blue is last year's average sold price. The orange is this year's average sold price. We're 11.6% higher when it comes to average sold price than we were last year. Here's where you really got to kind of look at things and understand the numbers because it gets a little bit funny. Last week, I would have told you that we are 2.1% higher than what we were last year. This week, we are 11.6% higher than what we were last year. So without looking at the chart, if I'm just throwing numbers and say, hey, we're last week, you know, we were 2.1% higher. And this week, we're over 11% higher than when we were last year, last year, gives the impression that we're doing so much better. We're not. Prices actually declined week over week. But what we're comparing to for last year was so much lower, it gives the impression we're much more ahead than what we really are in reality. 
prices have been dropping week after week. Sold prices, uh, sorry, sales, units sold, we are higher than what we were last week. The week before, we were fairly close. Before that, we were way off the mark. So in so, for sold properties in Vaughan, we're getting close or actually last week higher than what we were last year. So activity is starting to increase there. And listings, we are very close to where we were last year. The week before, we surpassed. So we can say that, hey, you know what? Activity is kind of picked up to where it was last year or pre-health crisis, we can say. Months of inventory. Here's where it gets confusing again. Months of inventory is one of the, the most important factors we look at to figure out which way is price going. As months of inventory decrease, prices tend to go up. Well, <laughs> months of inventory has decreased, but so have prices. Prices should be going the other way. Well, I, I got to tell you that sometimes in months of inventory, there could be a delay. So we might see that in the next week or two going the other way. We might not. I, so many things are happening out there that are, are off the norm. And well, months of inventory has dropped. This is extremely competitive market out there. If you're out there selling or buying, you're seeing multiple offers. You're seeing properties being sold very quickly. 2.3 months of inventory is, an, is a strong seller's market but average sold price drop. By average sold price dropping, it doesn't necessarily mean your home is worth less. It just means of the homes that were sold, that's the average sold price. So let's look at Vaughn condos. For weeks I've been telling you how prices have been coming down. Well now for the last few weeks, prices have been going up. Remember this is as of week ending July. I don't talk too much about Von Condos because the volume just isn't there to really get a, a true picture of what's going on, but we're 10% higher than we were last year's average sold price. Sales are much less than what they were last year. Listings for weeks now have been higher. It's, it's for a long time they've been higher, so there's a ton of inventory sitting out there for Von Condos, lots of choice. You see it here in months of inventory, 8.9 months of inventory. What that means that at the rate that we're buying condos in Vaughn right now versus what's available to actually buy, if nothing changes, it'll take 8.9 months to buy everything up at the rate we're buying right now. That's a long time. Well, months of inventory has gone up. <laughs> Prices should be coming down price went up. But again, Vaughn condos, there's not that many sales. So, so it's really tough to, to get these numbers to make sense. Okay. So city of Toronto, this is a breakdown per month. And when we look at April as the low point, average sold price for the city of Toronto has been going up. In fact, for June, the average sold price of a million and 22 was the highest average sold price ever. So, wow, prices are going up. Looks unbelievable. When we break it down on a weekly basis, so week ending July 12th, going back a few weeks, average sold price has actually been dropping. So the month of June is here. We were at the high point. But the last few weeks, prices have been dropping. That's what's happening out there. The average sold price. Compared to last year, average sold price is still way above, over 20, almost 22% higher than where we were last year this time. You know, it's interesting. When we look at the market this year, it, everything's been turned upside down. Summer is the new spring and, and for, for a couple of months there was, you know, everything was at a standstill. But last year's market, we'll call it, it was just a normal market operating on its own, no undue influences. Well, prices last year, average sold price at this time were dropping. It just seems strange that we're following the same pattern this year 
and and there's been a, a lot of things going on in this year's market. So, when it comes to sold item uh, sold properties for freehold properties in Toronto, we're very close to where we were last year. And last week we actually surpassed. So let's just say over the last couple of weeks, we've been selling what we've been selling same time last year. And when we look at these 274 that were sold last week, 171 were sold at list price or more. That's 62%. Can you imagine 62% of all properties sold? And I'm not talking about there was just a few. There was 274 properties sold last week, freehold properties just in the city of Toronto. 62% at list price or more. Just think about that. There's lots of competition going on. There's lots of buyers versus the amount of properties that are available for sale. When we look at listings, it's the we've got more listings than what we did last year. So when it comes to sales, when it comes to listings, we're back on track as to what we did last year or more. Months of inventory. Months of inventory jumped up a little bit to 1.7 months. 1.7 months is extremely low. That's kind of where we can see that, that there's, there's less, comp less choices out there. So properties are being bought up quickly. We're seeing the competition. Average sold price has dropped a little bit. This kind of is in line with months of inventory, but it's only gone up a tiny bit, but the average sold price has dropped a lot more than that. Toronto condos. Well, again, when we look at everything sold in Toronto real estate board, uh, sorry, on, on Treb for the city of Toronto, looks like everything's been going up. Well, for T Toronto condos, condos in general, anywhere we've been kind of saying how it's a bit depressed, it's going down, there's a lot of inventory being put up there and prices for condos have been dropping week after week after week, but they jumped up from July 5th to week ending July 12th. We're a little over 11% higher as far as average sold price than what we were last year. Sales are way off the mark. We are much, much lower than where we were last year. We sold 380 during this week. Last year, we sold only 235 this year. 42% of those, however, still sold at list price or more. Listings, look at this. The orange is this year. Blue was last year. For weeks now, when it comes to listings, we are way, way more than what we were last year. So inventory is building up for condos. You have choices still out there. Months of inventory is, is one of the highest of all the property types. We're at 3.3 months of inventory now. As months of inventory increase, <laughs> price should be dropping. Well, average sold price jumped up when it comes to condos. That's the report for, for this week, week ending July 12th. There is uncertainty out there. The, the market is behaving at times like a drunken monkey. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what's going to happen. My name is Santo Sessa. I hope you learned a little bit more or know a bit more now about the real estate market than you did before you saw this video. Don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell so you're reminded. Be safe and we'll talk to you soon.